Hi everybody. Uh, it's been a been a while. Uh, we're just still getting settled in here at the new home. Uh, I have some running around to do. I gotta go up to the shop and things like that and grab a few things. But um, right now, uh, we're gonna get back on the coop. Um, I got some stuff that's gonna show up today. I got more seam sealer coming. I got more grinding disc coming. Uh, so we can finish welding up the, the few spots that need to be welded, like on the bottom here, um, up in here that needs to be done, a couple other spots. Um, and then we can finish uh, cleaning up some of the welds, um, seam sealing, and then it's completely done. So um, I did order a few things from LMR when Mike was uh, ordering some stuff. So I gotta take this front clip off uh, bring this with me. I got to grab the front clip, um, the inner support that we're using and the hood, uh, for the car. Um, cause I want to get everything bolted, line it up the best I can, um, for getting it ready for paint. Cause as soon as we're done the welding on the quarter panel, we're going to start the body work. Um, and then uh, I think at that point, the car is going to go to the shop because I have to put the suspension in it and I don't want to go back and forth, back and forth when we have the other car up at the shop. So we're probably going to bring this car up there and then we'll do the suspension and everything there. And then we'll finish doing the body work. Probably do most of the body work here though. Um, not much is left body work wise. Uh, we need to clean up under here still a little bit. Um, the door needs a bit of work right down here you can see some dents there and then like i said the quarter panel is pretty good uh we have to clean up the welds here uh there's some deep scratches i don't know if you can see them from me sliding the quarter panel around and then obviously here needs to be done and other than that it's pretty decent and then like i said a few spots in the back um need to be done and then we'll go from there um, this trunk lid is pretty good. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to fill these holes and uh, use this lid because this lid is actually rust free, but it did have a saline spoiler on it. I did think about maybe putting a saline body kit. My friend does have a body kit, a saline kit up at the shop that he has left there for a while. Um, I've asked him a couple times if he was going to use it. He said yes, but it's still sitting there. So I don't know. Maybe we we'll do a saline kit on it. That's actually where this from bumper is from as you can see the bottom is a different color because it had the saline, saline kit on it so um i'm gonna get this front bumper off um uh, get it in the back of my truck and then um make a quick little list of things i want to grab up there i'm gonna grab um wheels well two wheels anyways i got we have a couple uh, a pair of wheels up there old school Rikens. Uh, they're actually 15s, but I like the look of them. And it's something that we're thinking about doing. I'm thinking they're gold. I'm thinking white with the gold center wheels might look pretty cool, right? So we'll kind of put it on there, give you guys a, a look of maybe what it might look like. The other option is to just throw pony wheels on it. Um, I'm not looking for anything too crazy. Um, this car, I think I've pretty much said it in the beginning it's not a keeper i plan on i do plan on selling this car uh, when it is done so um you know i might drive it for a little bit i don't know we'll see um but uh i'm kind of going for kind of stock original it's going to be low i'm going to lower it it's not going to sit ride height you know me um and we'll we'll see what you guys think with the the mesh wheels on it i think it'll look pretty good um, you know, so yeah, not too bad. She's coming along really well. Uh, the progress has been slow lately. Lots been happening, but we'll, we'll get, we'll get back to it. So uh, I'm going to get that bumper off. I think I got some stuff in the back of my truck right now that I need to take out and, uh, uh sorry, I'm tired. Um, and we'll get this loaded up and, uh, we'll head up to the shop and grab the few things I need. And then hopefully when we get back, the rest of the stuff shows up from Amazon <clears throat> and uh, 
we can start getting it. I still need a back bumper. I don't have one yet. So other than that, we have all the panels we need um, for the car. And yeah, I might pick up some bond, uh, Bondo today. I know people bust my balls about calling it Bondo, blah, blah, blah. It's just what we call it. Bondo, putty, whatever. Filler. Yeah, <laughs> I just call it Bondo. So uh, yeah, so stick around. I want to try to give you guys a glimpse of what it's possibly going to look like. And I want to get it done so we can get this body work happening so we can get this car into paint. All right. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So we're up at the shop. Um, I've been here for a few minutes. I already loaded up the stuff that I needed. So we're going to start off with talking about the Secan Notch, what we call it. This is our twin turbo coyote swapped coupe that we're building. Um, as you can see, it's pretty dusty. Um, it's on hold. Uh, it was supposed to go out to a guy to make the turbo kit for it. Um, there's been delays, delays, delays. He was supposed to come here and look at it and figure out everything he needed. It's just keep on getting delayed and delayed. So unfortunately, she's on the back burner. So for anybody that's new here, um, you can see the motor's sitting in there. It's ready to go. We just need the kit made up so we can start. Um, once all that's fabbed up, then we can start doing the finishing touches on the engine bay shave and uh, getting everything else set up. We gotta mount the shifter. It's gonna be an auto. It's got a 6R80 in it. Um, I think it's a built 6R80. Um, this car was like 1200 or something horsepower twin turbo on E85, well, the motor was, in a 13 GT. So that we're kind of in the middle of, you know, so it's a dust collector, uh, unfortunately. So then we'll get on to uh, Mike's car. Um, I'm not a fan of these tail lights. He's got a license plate for himself. Um, so the biggest thing was that if any of you have been here for a while, um, you remember there was a giant dent right here. So Mike has took the time and he's pretty much got that dent out. Now there is a couple little spots, but you know, he's working on it a little by little, but like worst case scenario, it's just a minor skim, but he's even got the body line pretty well. He got this pulled back pretty good, right? So everything gap wise, everything is good. Then this door was out at another body shop. Um, they kind of did some work to it and it is a mint door, but it had a ding here. So I don't think this door is going to be Sable unless we cut a section up. Um, the good thing is, is we do have doors. So we have a few spare doors. Uh, moving on to the front, um, Mike did his own engine bay shave. So he built his own panels and everything. He's just doing the body work on it, cleaning it up. So it's coming out pretty good um, considering uh, we were hoping he was hoping to have it painted by now, but you know, there's been delays and delays with painters and things like that So it is what it is. It's looking pretty good. So That's the progress on Mike's coop right now um, It's coming along really well He has hired a body guy to come here and work on it and to paint the car as well so um, Mike's just deciding on what he wants the color he wants to paint it body guy's gonna do all the work He's from a reputable um, company that restores cars, classic cars and stuff. So um, he'll be coming here to do the body work and stuff on that. So it'll look pretty good. So now on to the newest car in the fleet, okay? And uh, we've had one on the channel before and now we have another one. So here it is. It's a 94, I'm pretty sure it's a 94. Could be a 95 Cobra. So SVT Cobra, it's got a blower. You can see the intake here. This is actually a Cobra, it's not a clone. Um, you can see from the heads of the crane, rockers in it and things like that. So um, this does have a supercharger on it. Um, I think it is cammed. Um, there's a little bit of work done to it. Um, upgraded fuel, all that stuff. Um, it has blown head gasket. 
So we ended up getting a car like a couple months ago. Um, it's pretty clean. It's only got 94,000 kilometers on it. And you know, it's not too bad of a car. It does it need some paint, like it needs to be buffed. It's got some fading happening, you know, which is normal with these older bean cars. They get faded on the top. You can see the fade in it, right? It's not just dust. So a good buff and then this rear bumper thing has to go because you know it's got the the race switch right there right and yeah it's a pretty decent car he's he's just gonna fix it up get it going see how it runs and then go from there um he wants to change the headlights they're one piece uh like i said it's a blower it's a and it's rust free completely rust free car so um, there is one scratch here on the fender that needs to be fixed. But other than that, this car is pretty nice. So, you know, nice little clean. I think should be a pretty sweet ride, you know? I think the, the beans, the jelly beans, they're the next uh, thing to come, guys. They're gonna be the next uh, big thing in the market, right? Because the foxes are becoming way too expensive. And, you know, these cars, they don't get enough enough credit um you know when these cars are done right on the right set of wheels and things like that ride height and everything these cars are pretty badass cars so yeah so that's kind of the update on the shop it's a little messy uh as always we're always working on something um but you know there's just a few projects going on so like i said there's that you get mike's car and then the other coop there um you know I wish I could film everything. I just don't have the time to be running around and all that stuff. It's a lot of stuff with working and dealing with family and things like that. So we're trying to bring you guys at least something interesting, you know, and go from there. I'm back now, kind of been tinkering in the garage a little bit. I had to do a couple things to my truck. Um, and then uh, I was kind of just trying to set this up. Um, I did throw some Bondo on the car quickly. Um, I haven't done any of the welding stuff yet. Cause I'm still getting organized for that, but I kind of want to give you an idea what we were thinking about the car. Uh, we have these wheels, they do need to be refinished, but I figured why not um, check them out and see what we think, just the mock up. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Bam. Now, front probably be a little bit lower. You know, it is on a blue box or a gray box right now for the recycling. But um, looking pretty pimp, I'd say. Like, imagine them re-gold re or bronze in the middle. The option is black too, but uh, I think with the white and the gold, I'd like you to look pretty, pretty decent. You know, so what do you guys think? That's the front clip that we have for it. I redid the inner clip for it, so it's black. Um, you know, it's just loosely on there right now. Nothing's tight, obviously. But what do you guys think? I think these wheels will go good with this car. You know, probably be a little bit higher in the rear. You know, it is on a blue box. So, you know. When you see things like this, you're like, nice, it's coming together, you know, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to put a few more things on it. I'm trying to get the hood on it. Um, I do have another fender for it. Um, and yeah, I just want to get some things on it just to kind of make it look like a complete car. So you kind of get an idea what I'm trying to go for, but if the wheels on it, don't give you that vision. I don't, I don't even know why you're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm still waiting on grinding discs and stuff like that. So, um, they were supposed to be here already, but they're not here. Um, and I, my, my seam sealer. So that's why I'm just kind of messing around with this right now. But I think she's looking mint. So in the truck, I have, uh, the helicopter flying over. Got a lot of helicopters flying over there. So in the 
truck we have a mint hood it is kind of bent in that corner over there but we can fix it but it's mint mint uh, i have a fender it's pretty clean fender the antenna is shaved but i'm gonna take that off okay guys so i got the grinding disc here um and then i started to do some grinding but the day is almost done unfortunately so i started cleaning up down here we'll be able to fill all this in nice started cleaning up here getting this all cleaned up you know pretty good pretty good stuff i gotta empty the car out too so you know um i got the bondo on here up there the front wheels are off this is gonna look good guys what do you think what do you think okay Ooh.